1300 hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by shiraz mahmood khan first the headline prime minister has thanked the overseas pakistanis for sending record remittances over the last 8 year Planning minister says the process of registration of citizens age 65 and above has been started for vaccination against COVID-19. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Jammu and Kashmir National Front has expressed serious concern over the deteriorating political and human rights situation in the territory. A leading Indian daily says India is facing dangerous consequences due to the fanaticism of BJP government led by the Narendra Modi. And we are news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that there is a record increasing in remittances over the last 8 months. In a tweet today he said the remittances are up to 24% compared to the last year. The prime minister said the remittances remained above 2 billion dollars over the eight consecutive months. He said the remittances were 2.27 billion dollars in the month of January this year, which are 19% higher than the corresponding year last year. The prime minister thanked the overseas Pakistanis for sending record remittances. Meanwhile, Information Minister Shibli Faraz in a tweet today said the increase in remittances is a clear indication of the overseas Pakistanis' trust transparent leadership of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Adviser on Commerce and Investment Abdul Razak Daud says the registration of the companies in Pakistan has increased as a result of the reforms in the past two and a half years. In a tweet of tweet He said that a total of 20,342 companies registered with the Security and Exchange Commission of Pakistan during the previous year which is an increase of 24% as compared to 16,456 in 2019. He said in January in this year a total of 2,221 companies registered themselves with SCCP which is up to 12% as compared to the previous month. Today is the last day of the nomination papers of the Senate elections. As per schedule, the list of the contesting candidates will be published tomorrow and the scrutiny of the nomination papers will be held on Wednesday and Thursday. Polling of 48 seats of the Senate will be held on the 3rd of next month at the Parliament House, Islamabad and four provincial assemblies. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has said that the process of registration of citizens age 65 and above has been started for vaccination against COVID-19. In a tweet today he said the registration had been done by sending CNIC number on 1166. He said the vaccination of this age group will start next month. 26 Deaths due to the coronavirus and 1048 new positive cases were reported across the country during the last 24 hours. According to the latest statistics there are now 25747 active covid cases in the country. A personnel of FC Balochistan embraced martyrdom in exchange of fire with the terrorists near Hasba district Kech late last night. According to the ISPR, the terrorist attack FC Balochistan post established for security of N85 highway. Area has been cordoned off and search operation is now in the progress. Former Indian Defence Minister A.K. Antony said that New Delhi is appeasing China by agreeing to disengagement on China's term. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi, he said the terms of disengagement in both Gulwan Valley and Pangok So area and the creation of buffer zone was a surrender of India's interests. 
In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Jammu and Kashmir National Front has expressed serious concerns over the deteriorating political and human rights situation in the territory. In a statement issued in Srinagar, JKNF spokesman Shafiqur Rahman said that the BJP government led by the Narendra Modi had declared an unannounced multi pro war to erase Kashmiri's political, religious, and cultural identity. He urged the international community to play its role in stopping bloodbath in the territory. Delhi-based newspaper The Indian Express says that India is facing dangerous consequences of paranoid BJP government led by Narendra Modi. In an article, the paper writes that dissent is being crushed as political activists are languishing in jails and anyone speaking or writing against the government is charged with sedition. In Myanmar, fresh protests have erupted in all major cities today, following an overnight internet blackout and deployment of troops on the streets. In the cities of Yangon, hundreds of engineering and technology students gathered in the north of the city, demanding the release of the former leader, Aung San Suu Kyi. And that is the end of the news. For more news analysis, log on to our website, radio.goe.pk, and also watch our live bulletin streaming on facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.